Hello and welcome. Today we'll do a cheap and cheerful overlay network with VNS3 and an Ubuntu based OpenVPN server. So we'll start from our marketplace. If you click continue, uh, make sure to manual launch. We just have a couple of steps that we need to do manually. So down from this list, I'm going to launch in Ohio. It'll bring you back to the console and through the launch steps. The smallest we can do is T2 medium. You can always add more size later. Make sure to launch it in your VPC. If you haven't already created a VPC, click here and follow our instructions for setting up in VPC. You can keep storage basic. We'll name it demo. And then when I set up my VPC, I have a security group. And the important thing here is that we have TCP 8000 access from the security group and my IP address. Review and launch. You don't need port 22 access. When we click launch, proceed without a key pair. We will handle security from the BNS3 UI. So here our instance is getting started while we're waiting. We can go over here on the left and create an elastic IP. We'll allocate a new one and then click associate and we'll put it with our new demo. Click associate and close. Now when we go back to our instance that's getting ready, it now has a public DNS and a public IP. Next for VNS3, Make sure to click on Actions Networking and Change Source Destination Check. Click Yes Disable. This allows VNS3 to act as a router and redirect traffic rather than just letting it pass through. So we'll grab the public DNS name, open a new tab, and type in https colon slash slash. We'll paste in our DNS colon 8000. This is our port 8000 access. You might see a warning. Click Advanced and Proceed anyways. And you'll immediately be prompted for a username and password. The default is VNS cubed, and in Amazon it's your instance ID. So we'll copy this and paste it in. Because it's a free edition, you can just click on a license through here, type in your name, and click request. All right. You'll get an email with our concierge offer. Make sure to check that out. And then for our license, copy begin PGP through NPGP. Go back to your controller. Click upload license. And make sure to paste that begin PGP with your encrypted license all the way through to end PGP. Click Submit. Here you have the option to customize your addressing. You can click Custom and fill in any address you might want. We'll keep it simple though, and today we'll just stick with pre-configured. Click Submit and Reboot. OK. All right, once our controller is rebooted, you might Click on the logo in the corner and see a Getting Started page. Our next step is to get a client pack to generate new keys. So we'll name our topology, demo, and create a security token or password. Click Generate Keys. This will take a minute. You can refresh to see status. And you'll know it's done when these areas... And once it's complete, you'll see Generation Process Completed and these will be blue. Our final step is client uh, controller peering. Sorry. So click controller peering. Because it's a free edition, you only have one option. It can either be this instance or an external IP device. For this demo, we'll pick this instance. Click save changes, and you are complete. When you're done, you can click on the status page, and you'll see this. Here you'll see our client username and password, so we've got client packs, and we are ready to go. <laughs> so 
So back in the AWS console, click Launch Instance. From the marketplace, we'll just pick an Ubuntu, Ubuntu 16.04, LTS, always reliable. We can do T2 Micro for free tier. Make sure it's in your same VPC and subnet. We'll keep general storage, we'll call it web server. And then for the security group, we'll do the client security group from configuration rules. Um, just note that for Ubuntu, we need to SSH into it to make sure you have port 22. Click review and launch. This time we will use a key pair. I've got a demo saved locally. Click launch. And while our web server is thinking, I'm just going to assign an elastic IP over here too. We'll allocate a new one and associate. Put it with our web server. Oops. The web server. Once our web server is ready, we can SSH into it. Ubuntu username, Ubuntu at, and then paste in the public DNS for our instance. Yes, I'm sure. All right. I'm just going to do sudo just to be the boss. And next we will get OpenVPN. Install OpenVPN. There we go. Three controller. If you click on the left on client packs, the first one is 172.31.1.1. And if you click on Linux configuration, this is the entire file you need it's from our terminal. We will just name it. I'll call it CP1 because that's really creative. And so here's our blank file. I'm just going to copy everything in here. And I'm just going to I insert, paste it in, escape, and then right quit. Ta -da. Next, we'll move it. Move cp1.conf to Etsy OpenVPN. I'm going to put in, make sure I'm spelling it right, system CTL start openvpn at cp1.conf. Oh, cp1.service, my bad. Let's do that instead. All right, to make sure it's running, I'll do an if config. If config. There we are. And back on our VNS3 controller, if I click again on the status page, I should see connected clients. And here's my client pack. Pretty soon we'll have a physical IP. Just refresh. Yep, there we go. Physical IP. And as it updates, you'll get more information. We've created an overlay network independent of AWS networks.